What's good, YouTube? Your boy JMF Flow bringing y'all a mini blitzing. Uh, this is like a mini blitzing scheme from the 4 3 under playbook out the Oakland Raiders playbook. And I came across this in Draft Champs because I like, I literally just like, I literally, literally just played with this. Because I, I had a 4 3 playbook. I had my, I didn't have my big dime. I only had 4 4 and 4 3. So I'm like, bro, I, I hit the practice mode. I came up with something quick. I did wind up winning all six games. So I'm like, all right, this might be useful for my subs. So I'm, I'm gonna give it to him. So the first play we're gonna talk about is the wheel go fire three press, uh, and I'm gonna tell y'all the setup for this. And uh, but before I, before we get started, I want to get into some. A lot of people keep commenting on that old video, bro. He lying about taking this team. He doing this. He doing that. If any of y'all watch my gameplay, you clearly see I showed y'all the messages. The, the, I showed y'all the four people who donated me cards and their teams. But if not, here it is again for people who keep choking on my dick. So now I don't want to hear about it no more. Or I just block you from the channel because y'all really getting irritating. Like, I understand, like, you, you like, y'all don't got to choke my dick that much. It's not that serious. I think it gave me an 18, and you can see my record right here, bro. Like, I would, I'm 102 and 37. I was 102, I was 95 and 31 before uh, I made that video about my team getting took it. I don't need a team to win that many games. I don't, y'all need, y'all probably need teams to win all those games. I don't, y'all see the record. I don't need a good team to beat these people, bro. Like, I, I just don't. So why would I care? Like, why would I, why would I go trying to scam people for teams? Like, I don't, I don't get y'all. But like, like I said, keep my dick out of your mouth. Like, look, I, w I lose a game once every three days, maybe. <laughs> and I, and I'm gonna go, I'm not desperate to go make a video for a team. No, I never needed a team, bro. Like, that's not me. I schemed over a team with me. But like I said, now we're gonna talk about the real go fire three press. This is the first blitz. Of like the scheme you want to mix this in with everything i'm gonna show you this might be a lengthy video maybe five minutes so just stick around for your boy uh all you want to do is you don't got a base line you can just shift your d line to the right crash him to the right you want to move this linebacker out just like this uh and just move this guy down right here like that right about right there maybe yeah right there and from there uh you can do what you want though if the run if they run on you, you can always bring this guy down the runs to the left is going to be shut off but if it runs to the right, you might be vulnerable. So you want to bring this guy. I would always bring this guy over here if I think they might be running and use it as safety. But always, I always use the safety and I would do something like this. Uh, what would I do? I, I actually would do something like this. I man up the tight end and I would do that. Or I'll just man up both of them just like that and just watch the middle and just worry about the slants. But y'all going to see uh, with this blitz. You only send in four people. You can put that right in in the spy. I don't know why he, he got caught up on the fucking. Oh my god, he got caught up on the the, the running back. But you can also put that guy in the hook zone, so it can be like a it can be like a mini cover three. I guess if that's if that's what y'all want to call it. But uh, but y'all gonna see right here. Uh, he just don't get picked up. He does come in free. This was one of the blitzes I was using, like because I was only sending four people. So I'm like, any blitz you send sending four people is a nice blitz, right? Now then I'm like, uh oh, okay. So then I was going to the playbook. It was like the second quarter. I'm like, a ah, weak corner blitz. That just look glitchy. You know what I'm saying? Every corner blitz in this game is op because they they can't be picked up no to save their life. So then when he once he started blocking a running back, I did the same setup. And I here's how here's why I would move the safety down and like y'all just y'all just gonna see why your boy be y'all gonna see how I be scheming, bro. Same setup. You are gonna shift him to the left, crash him to the left. But this time you're gonna move this guy over just like you would but this time he's in a flat move this guy down right here this time he still think you're sending that same blitz you can still put him in a uh still put him in a hook zone it's basically the same look as the wheel go fire three press but it's just a little it's just beats running back block and max protect like y'all see he max protect and it still comes through and so once he started blocking the running back it was a wrap for your boy uh i want to I, I made all six people quit so i'm like bruh if, if i'm doing this uh I just got, I gotta get this to my subs, and the reason I would, and the reason why I like this, always bringing this guy over, because y'all might think, oh, is it, if you think the corner rack blitz is coming, and you moving that safety down, he might, uh, he might just bomb into who he McCall, he might just, you know, streak Benjamin, but nah, look, they play it so well, it's like, it's nothing they can do about it, it's literally nothing, so any route from that, y'all might think, oh, because this man is blitzing, he's getting exposed, no, why you doing this, just right there? Like everything shut down. Everything is shut down. The only thing you might be vulnerable to, I notice, is the run to the right. But if you guys are a good block shader right here and he and he has like inside leverage. And if I also think they're running, I would bring this guy just inside like this. Because he he's automatically gonna shoot this gap right there. 
But even if he doesn't, uh, psh, it don't matter. Like, just bring your safety down there, and all you got to do is follow through and blow up the run right there. So then the next thing I was talking about, uh, y'all like, okay. And the other thing I got those, why I got those safeties like that is because when they start pitting them on slant routes, they will, they start blocking the running back. Uh, what the fuck? Whatever. Block the running back. They'll pit them on slant routes, right? Just watch how, uh, watch how they play this. Just watch how they play this. And this is exactly why I love this blitz. I love this coverage. The way they play it, because you bringing that safety down and that linebacker over there, he has inside leverage. Like, y'all look right now. He is five yards inside. So, no matter if he, he can't go outside, he can't do an out route because Mark Barron's sitting right there. So, if he runs a slant, it's just a cover three match defense. Y'all see how no matter what, he always is two yards inside him. So, he will never get beat on a slant. And Because so, it's cover three match, everybody's going to match up with a man. And that's why I love this defense. And I love this scheme. <coughs> Alright, next. Now, we're talking about the cover six. And now, who? Uh, actually, no. I like to use a cover three cloud. Actually, You can use either one cover three cloud weak or cover six. The only thing, the cover three cloud weak automatically have someone in a flat. So I'm, and I'm gonna show you why I like that one a little bit better. I always use, I use it. You can use either one though. I just prefer to use cover three cloud weak because the corner's already in a flat and I don't have to do that. Because a lot of people, uh, your linebacker, if he's in the seam flat, he might not get to this out route in time. But now that a corner's right there, there's no way he can throw that. Like, I'm gonna show y'all why. Because you, this guy used to be in a, like a, he used to be in like, he used to be in something like a whatever, like a cloud flat or something. Like he, I don't know what he used to be in. He, like he used to be in like a purple, right? Or like I don't, I don't know. But then he could never like, he could never like. I noticed when he would be in a scene flat, I put him in a purple or even a cloud flat. He'd just get beat sometimes because he was a linebacker. So then what I start doing, I would come out in this the same thing. I will come out in this cover three sky week. And this is what I used to play Mac protect. Uh, where we at? So then I would just shift my line to the uh, left. I would crash him to the left again. I would spy that right in. I would move this linebacker over there just like I usually would and move this guy down. So now we're in a hard flat with a corner. So any, like, because they're going to try quick game because you're bringing that blitz. But usually, like, if I wanted to force them to throw it to the flat, I would bring him, like, right there because they might think, oh, he, no way he's going to get to that flat in time. I'm going to just throw an out route to X or something. But that's what I would always do. Uh, but I would, like, bring him just, I would bring him, like, right here just so they wouldn't think uh, he couldn't get there in time. Then I got hit him here. I, you can put him in a zone or a spy if you want. I always spy him because then they, people run out the pocket. And then I usually like the QB contain, but that usually don't work. Y'all just going to see right there, you playing a max style defense. Everything is locked up. Cover six locks up most things in the game. But like I said, and this defense is very easy to set up. It's that fast to make everything look like the same blitz. So no matter what they do, you, you're you good. Make sure you got good pass rushers. Everything will be locked up. Uh, you're going to force them to make a bad throw because most people are not patient in a pocket. Uh, so I hope y'all enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. Like I said, I won all six games. Y'all see my record. Like, there's nothing like people really can do about it. If I won 100, if I, if I lose one game every 30 days, then I'm guaranteed once y'all get better, y'all be the same way. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. But until then, it's your boy, J-Mail Flow. A.K.A. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go.